call this meeting of YK Fiscal Court to order. I'm going to ask our uh, Park Director and Mayor of Hartford to come forward, lead us in a prayer, and pledge the flag. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together today. Please be with these leaders that they're making decisions for our future. And forgive us of our many sins and be with those in the tragedy over the bridge. Uh, we love you. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Got before you, you have the minutes of the uh, March 12th meeting. Oh. Need a motion and second to approve. Motion to accept. Motion by Michael. Second. Okay. Second by Bobin. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions to the meetings? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Minister pass. Next, you have the bills claim payments and transfers. Have a motion to approve. I like a motion to approve. Motion by Jason. Bill. No, second. Second by Michael McKinney. Any discussion or questions on the bills, claims, payments, or transfers? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Post lock sign. The bills are paid. Next, we have uh, some folks from the uh, uh, tourism department in uh, Jerusalem Ridge going to ask us for uh, explain to us the need that we have. You're not going to bring your backup up with you? <laughs> They're raising their hand. <laughs> and I really didn't want to speak tonight, but um, our chairman has the stomach flu. Yeah. So um, what's happened is over the years for the Bill Monroe Home Place, so I'm here representing the foundation today, the um, roof, the shape shingles. Five years ago, I had it cleaned and preserved and tightened up, but nothing has really happened to it since then. The last storms have removed the ridge cap from the top. They've checked it, it's not leaking or anything, and they've like done things, but you can't walk around on those shake shingles. So we've had some people come up and take a look at it, and it's in bad shape. It's, um, it is the original roof from the uh, restoration in 2001, and they said there are several that are really loose, need reattaching, need replacing. So I got bids. We talked about it and we said, well, let's, let's get bids on what it would be to, again, wash it, replace the old ones, and uh, put on new, and then preserve it again. So I got two bids on that. <coughs> one was for 5,000 and one was for 7,000. So we discussed it some more and we said, if we're gonna be spending like 7,000, to do this every three to five years for the shake shingles, maybe it's time to just put a new roof on. So we got those bids too. I got one from uh, All Above Roofing, which is Chris Estes. He said a new roof would be 12,369. And he suggested going back with like regular roofing, not the shake shingle, but a roof. A, um, Can we do that if that No, nah, it, it wouldn't be very correct. Excuse me? It wouldn't be period correct to go with the other one with the. But well, I mean, I didn't know if you'd let you do that because I figured that is a. Well, I think that's we should go one. ahead and fix them. Uh huh. We should fix that one like it is. Cause I tell you the deal: when people lived back in then, those days, they worked on the roofs every year. <laughs> they replaced sex every year, some of them. Yeah. And I think that's what we'll do. But rather than waiting five years, I think we'll look at it every year and get every repair made that needs Just to be done. Yeah. And then so you're going to do the repairs instead of doing the whole roof. Yes. 
do the repairs. Okay. And I talked to Bo, and we do have some of the shake shingles left that they can use. Mm -hmm. That's why the bids were a little bit lower and do the preserving on it. But if you look at it, it's it's really molded and stuff. And the you last few years, the the last three years, yeah. have done a number on it. All right. So. Uh, I talked to Ann, and she said on that lower on that lower number, on the clean and repair, we would have mm -hmm. enough in reserves. We could do it out of that, but probably not more than that. So would would it please any of you to make a motion to do that? Larry. Yeah, I'll make a motion. Motion by Larry. I'll second just for discussion. Then. So, so that is you. for every, how many, you did it three years ago? I did it about four years, four or five years ago. And that one um, actually was brought to my attention at that time that it needed a lot of work. We had a visitor up there that was, mm -hmm. he did preservation is what he did. And he came back up and he did it. And the foundation was able to pay for it because he donated all his time and all his equipment. And he only charged us like $3,000. Well, so last question. So uh, how, the, the original roof has been on there for how long? 2001. Yeah, it's the original roof. So for 23 years? 12000 Yeah, it's the original roof. There's no way the state, would, there's no president and like money for stuff like that in the state. You know what hurts us? We're done by volunteers. Every time I research a grant, it's like second question. Are you a nonprofit? How many employees do you have? Yeah. And, you know, it's good news, bad news. We're I didn't know the state gave that money. If they, if there was money for them. Yeah, I've never found any yet. Okay. I look because I want it. <laughs> Motion by Larry Morphew to pay from reserves five to seven thousand dollars for repairing the roof at the home place. The building roof. What, what were the differences in your five thousand and your seven thousand yeah. dollars? It was the same. Yeah, Nothing. The um, they just different one. The other one was Pierce Roofing, a Lindsay Everett Lindsay <coughs> Pierce Roofing, and uh, the other one was Chris Estes. Which one was Chris Estes? The five. He, he's no, he's the seven. Oh. Would that, seven uh, seventy-five. Would it be uh, cheaper if they know you had uh, shingles to go on it? No, they knew that. I told him they had it. He has installing shingles, ridge cap, and reinforcing all nails. Four thousand two two fifty five, and then soft wash. I'll apply a solution no stronger than three to one with a pump spray, then off with hose and preservation spray. We'll be sure to keep the hose pointed downward to avoid forcing any upward motion on the shingles. He actually, Chris was more, but he really sounded like he knew what he was doing. One of your helpers back there's got a question. Yes. I don't know how much you're talking that you you're needing to do these repairs, but I, um, I know we have some put back, so that might be something that you need to look at as well. If we need more. Because I don't know what yeah. the coverage you all are doing. Well, that's what he, she said. They have already counting on using those. Right. I, I'm saying I don't know if they have enough. I mean, I, we probably don't have the money. Honestly, I think if we had the money, it doesn't seem like we do. It would be better than almost if you're every 25 years to replace the roof than every Three or four years, but. 7, uh, but but was that twelve three? Was that for the Cedar Shakes like up there? No, no, that okay. was and for a, a roof. Roof. And then I got a, a price on a metal roof too, because in the board meeting they were discussing that a lot of period houses at that time had metal roofs, but um, Chris said that he would not advise that because of the fact that. That is not temperature controlled, and he said a, a metal roof would not do well with the you things inside. inside. What house? Right. What did they have? I mean, what did he have on the original? That's what the original well, was the shakes. Yeah, okay. the original that's was what the shakes. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. We have motion to second. Any further discussion? Then all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Thank get, you. Get a PO number. I'll get a PO number. I'll do it. <laughs> Give it to the contractor. Thank you. It's, it's it. You know, house really is in good shape considering it's been on there for 23 years. We've just had some wild winds. So. Well, right. now those roofs repair. Uh, they they require maintenance. Yeah. We should actually get somebody up there every year. Every year. And it'd probably be cheaper then because you won't have all the hard washing to do that they have to do. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank right. you. Thank you very much.
Okay, we have a Adam's going to come up here and read us a bunch of resolutions. I think actually, actually, I was kidding. But come on up anyway. I don't think there's any problem with these, but we got to pass them one at a time. It's going to fix themselves. <laughs> a couple of things I want to go over with you guys is uh, when I took office, there's a couple of things we noticed we needed, and these are grants that we are actively pursuing over at the Sheriff's Office. And one of them is for uh, body vest, the bulletproof vest that the deputies wear when they're on patrol. Um, these vests are only good for five years, and the last time we can check, the last purchase we, bu made, we made as a county was in 2012. One of our deputies that wears a vest now has duct tape to keep his vest on, so we're planning for a grant uh, for 25 body armor vests for the amount of $26,625. The next one is for uh, the pistols in which we have. Do you want me to keep going? or? Well, I, I probably ought to just go ahead and ask for a motion on that one and get it and then pull the move. Motion by Larry Morphy. All you're doing is you're filing the grant. So, yes. Yeah. Second by Bo, yes. yeah. Bo Bennett. You need time. Okay. All in the favor of that one say aye. Aye. Opposed like saying. Okay. 13 is passed. Now let's hear about 14. I don't have a list of what you got. Okay. No. I'll, I'll tell. It's a duty weapons grant. Okay. If for replacing those 45s they're so heavy with something lighter. Is that correct? That is correct. So the problem that we're having there is some of our deputies are smaller in statue, and that is a particularly large weapon to hold. And the problem that we're going to see is in the event that, and I pray to good, the good Lord we don't have to do it ever again, is if we have to discharge a weapon, especially in our schools, that's a, that's a large frame to hold. So we're trying to go from the, the 45 caliber back down to the 9 millimeter, and the reason is because there's more ammunition available. And it's not as much. And those things are monsters too. Yes, sir, they are. They are extremely. I don't even pack one because I don't even like it. So. And you guys know, Jason, and, uh, he may be the only one that was here whenever we, uh, uh, whenever we bought those things, mm -hmm. and it was court kind of insisted on the sheriff using them. Yeah. So that that amount is for twenty two thousand eight hundred seventy four dollars, and with that. We're also applying a grant for the ammunition to go along with it, uh, which will be about 500 rounds per gun in the amount of $3,350. Okay, do I have a motion for that? Motion. Is that motion two different, because there's an ammunition grant down here on number 10, if you look, so that's two. That's the same, two different ones. Yeah. Second, second on uh, the resolution for Second by Michael. Yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. Post like that motion. And then I'll make a, it's do an ammunition one too. I'll do the, uh, I'll make a motion for resolution 18. Okay. Well, we, we need to get 15, 16, 17. Well, you just brought it up. So. Okay, you, I hope you do that though when we get to it. Yeah. The tasers, you want new tasers. And I understand if we get them, any of you that want them tried out on you, he'll let you see what they feel like. So the, excuse me, so the tasers that we're trying to purchase through a grant again is for 25 tasers altogether. This is the Taser 10, which is the most up-to-date taser that's on the market. And that cost is $124,366.26. And what those tasers will do in the event that the body cameras that we just got for our, the grant is if you deploy the taser, you turn it on, it automatically turns the body camera on as well. So they, they, they sync together. Okay, have a motion on that one? Make a motion. Motion by Bo Bennett. Second. Second by Jason Bullock. Uh, any other discussion? I will say that this is uh, grant money we're applying for, so it's not like we're writing checks for all this tonight. How many tasers with that? All in? 25. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like saying? Motion carried. And everything that we're doing is for the amount of 25 people. That's including uh, the command staff, detectives, school resource officers, and police security. Uh, the next one is for Taser software. And I don't know what that is, but I'm sure you need to go with Tasers. I'm pretty sure that that Taser software goes along with the Tasers itself. Uh, basically, what is it? 
we can use it to plug into system as evidence.com so that way we can we can say when this tangent was deployed <coughs> and uh, document for uh, in the use of the officer uh, officer force whatever it may be okay Next motion on that one Motion. motion by Larry, second, second. by Bob. So that price is included in, in the tasers. Too. I do believe so. All in favor say aye. Opposed like that one passed. Resolution 202417, taser cartridge. Yeah, this <coughs> everything from the taser should be included with that price that I gave you. I don't know why they're on their separate. That's all together, everything. I make a motion to accept 2417 taser cartridge credit. Second. Objection, second by Mike. What were yeah, those three? What was that total for those three? For everything all together for the tasers, it's $124,366.26. Okay. All in favor say aye. Opposed uh, like sign. That was done. And now this was yours. Uh, I'll make a motion again to uh, accept resolution 2418 for the ammunition that you spoke of earlier. I'll you. second. Do you get the motion second? Okay. Okay. Um, favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. It passes. So I have a question. Will the sheriff's office surplus the 45s? So what we're going to do is we, we'll get with Keesler's and we can do what they call a, buy, a buyback product, so that way we can buy the weapon if we want to, to go towards any money that, that we can, and if the physical court, if they want to purchase, they can as well. Okay. Can you serve us those vests? I mean, since they're not any good, they're probably worth anything. We'll probably throw them in the trash can. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested. They're not going to protect them. Well, they won't take them all the way to the landfill. <laughs> you don't know who's going to be done with that. There you go. <laughs> okay. Does the strike that? <laughs> We're live. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, appreciate it. Okay. You have Thank one you. on there for the radios? Yes, yeah, it's yeah, on down. Well, let's oh, skip yeah. on down and get it. Can we do that okay, That's guys? Fine. Okay, item number 17 on your agenda is a resolution 2024 21 for the sheriff's radio grant. Tell us about that. So basically a problem that we ran into in this unfortunate situation we had with the plane crash with the two young men that lost their lives. We had multiple agencies out there and due to the radio system that we have or actually the radio that we carry, we weren't able to talk to the Davis County Sheriff's Office, the fire departments in the different county. We could talk to the state police and the helicopter. So we were just kind of relying on other agencies. These portals that we're gonna fly, um, file a grant for that way we can program all those frequencies and we can talk to multiple agencies because there's different UHF and VHF frequencies that our, our systems aren't capable of programming. Make a motion to exempt uh, resolution 24, 21, Sheriff Radio Grants. Second. Jason and Bob. You got it? All right, any discussion or questions for Adam? Being none, I'll say aye. Aye. Post like sign. I greatly appreciate it. Like I said, we're trying to buy it so that way that y'all don't have to spend no money. You're really making this agenda along with all these resolutions on it. <laughs> well, and we're going to back up and get another couple. We've got two more that's not his to do. Uh, the road 19. The Greta roads. What it is, Jason. Uh, Chen and I went to <coughs> Justin. But can you come up with some for us so that out there in the industrial park where we own the property, it's not like we've got to buy it or get easements or nothing like that. If we could just skip all that stuff and take it, uh, extend the road or take one in at the, at the uh, park. And uh, that's what we want. And, and uh, you all got a copy of it, right? Yeah, so, so what, what, one of the things that we indicated that Greta has to do on their end, uh, they need to still file a petition like anybody else would, even though it's our property. I, I would probably rather have some, some, some documentation on their end that any, any roads that they uh, assist or we assist them in building or whatever will be to state and county specs and they will let Charlie know as well as the judge executive and the road supervisor the location 
a mapping of it, uh, the, you know, the name, um, and let's see here, just the length, um, and the width has to be at least 40. So uh, they will include the width also. So that's up to you guys, but uh, it's kind of one of those, it, it's our property anyway, we can necessarily work. We own an interest, we don't want yeah. all one, one thing is to, 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 to recruit business in, in this one particular case, uh, uh, we are actually uh, widening the road and all that with our equipment and won't be any material costs, but we'll actually have, they'll pay for the rock, but we'll actually use our bulldozer to rub that in. And that's a factory that's for sure coming. So that's the one that we're talking out. The other one we're looking at right now is the extended Tillery Road. You need a motion for that? Yes, please. So much. Motion to Larry. Motion you. Do your second? So, but they, just let me understand though, I'll step it for discussion. So they, they, if they, if they, they're not just giving them, they can go out there and put in a road anytime they want. They have stuff to come to the court because if they put in a road, we're basically saying we're taking them in as the county road system. Right? Yes, I mean, how it would be. They would have to approach David and talk to him about putting a road in before instead of putting a two mile road in and expect us to, you know. Well, it's out there in, in the property that we own, and so that will make it different than a place. Yeah, we don't necessarily, we can, but it if will want, come through the court that yeah. they're going to, hey, we're going to put this two mile road in. Yeah, it'll say, it'll be a motion put that you send it or whatever. And in one case, uh, one that's already there on the maps that they're going to rename, mm -hmm. and, and we're going to grade it up for them. Uh, it, if you want wording in there that indicates that you would prefer that they provide you with what roads they've installed prior to placing on the roadway, I would need to add that into the into the uh, the roadmap. I would need to add that into this resolution. Well, that would be the only thing I'm thinking instead of just giving free reign to put a road wherever they want to without coming. Spit. Now, David, or if we put a road, if we they put a road in when they blacktop it. Grid of, grid of funds will black top that road a lot, probably, or are we responsible for black topping that road? Or do we get money from well, we try other to, counties? Well, we would not automatically be responsible for it. It'd be like any other county road we'd look at. I just don't want to go put a two-mile <coughs> road in and they get frightened and say, hey, uh, we're going to black top it and uh, it was, county it, road. Every, that would all be approached on an individual basis at that point. But the main thing we want to do is to be able for um, uh, Nick to go out without spending money, but just, I mean, without spending material, but to help with things that they need to get. And that's, I'm fine with that. I would like to see that they come to the judge or somebody. They will. And, and they'll actually some come kind of approval the, before they just. They'll actually come to the court. Yeah. But but the all this thing going out and getting petitions signed and. Yeah, we don't have to do all this stuff. Signed and, um, we can buy stuff. Yeah. I mean, there might be one, but. Well, I would, I would need, I would need to add a, a, a line in there about that, if you so wish, about just the one indication prior to placing it on the roadway. I mean, on the, on our county. Can we pass that contingency that you add that one thing to them? Sure. I mean, you're I'd, I'd like them to come to the court. I don't want to just give free reign. I want to help them. We can grade it, whatever. But I mean, I don't want them to go out and put a road and say, "Hey, it's yours," and you didn't. They didn't much know. I'll I know come. they probably would, but this way. If it's in writing, it does kind of protect us. Okay. But I don't mind to go ahead and pass it, contingent that that's in it. Okay. So I'm assuming your and Larry's motions are both amended to indicate that. Right. Uh, Is that okay? The Is that right? Okay. Yeah. okay. Any more discussion? Maybe why? Yeah, you can do it down there. And then the next. Okay, I know, but let's go ahead and. Uh, okay, on that one, I'll just go ahead and get a yes uh, up or down. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Okay, some time ago we got a grant on a Stanley Road water line project to get a fire hydrant out to end the Spencer Lane. Well, uh, we're going to need a resolution passed, and this actually allows the water department to go ahead and sign the uh, grant papers and, and all that to make sure that we close this and they can do the construction. And Justin has reviewed it. So I need a motion for that. Jason, that's your history. I'll make a motion to accept that. Motion with Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. 
All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed like sign. Under KRS 61-810, Chapter 1, Section C, I need a brief closed session. Uh, well, okay. okay. They probably need to be on the agenda. Well, I didn't know until uh, like 30 minutes before. I got a call from the governor's office about 45 minutes ago. Uh, unless it's an emergency, I would prefer it to be on an agenda. Okay, let's move on. Uh, uh, committee, uh, Jason and... Well, I take that back, Judge. Since we, since we uh, publicly indicated that we were having a public meeting and you referenced the statute along with the subsection, um, uh, we... We, we, we probably can at least go into the closed section. I don't know if we can take action. Okay. I actually don't think it's going to be required. Uh, uh, good. Who makes the motion? I'll make the motion. Motion with Jason. All right with it. Second. Second by Michael. I'll favor say aye. Meet me in the back room just for a minute. The, uh, have y'all reviewed the water line priority list? We don't have to do that tonight, but let me tell you the reason what I want to do is look at it. Uh, you see an old and a new. Oh, uh, y'all want to go back to open session? Yeah. Make motion. Motion below. Second. 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 No action. We're back in. Okay. Um, and the only thing I'd like to do so we can get it on the moves and there's money in there to do it. This Leah Loop, which is only 21,000, this is very top of this proposed new list. I'd like to issue a PO and get that done. And then that leaves uh, uh, Tucker Holler and uh, I thought we moved up uh, Longview Church. Now it's down a little bit yet. Oh, Mel Belang that's on there, that's already P.O., so that's just ignore it. Mel Belang's already done. But we don't have, if you want to approve this, uh, by the way, you can change them anytime you want to. But if you want to approve this new list so we'll have it, uh, good. Or if you want to okay me to do that one project and keep another two weeks to review the list, that'll be all right. Let's do the one project tonight. Whatever y'all think, or do the list. You need a, 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 need motion. a motion. Yes. So motion. Motion, Larry Morphew. I'll second the motion on the PO. The uh, I'd like for us to table the okay reaper reports uh, for the rest of it, but to move Leah Lou up and do it. Okay. Second by Michael McKinney. Any further discussion or comment? If not, I'll say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. And can you issue a PO to the water district on that one road? Okay. And if y'all don't mind, review these things and let's look at them again for the next meeting. Okay. Uh, I talked to every one of you about the road tiles and what we want to do, uh, and Nick is asked for, but he's not here, is to. Uh, is to build the uh, on driveway tiles to build the customers for one load of rock, which now is a what do you say one load now current rate. Anyway, whatever the current rate is, we're paying for one load of rock. I think so, about 160 right now, and uh, that fluctuates with rock prices. And after calling all of you, I did initiate it with the executive order, but that's only good until tonight. That means. We uh, if we need a motion and vote on it. I make a motion that we extend the cost to the constituent on the gravel. One load of gravel. Tell me when you got that down. 
Do I have a second? Yeah, I, I'll second it. Second by both. But we'll still provide the waiver and the, and the truck. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. and truck and the truck. I don't want that to be. Backhoes and yeah, truck. I just want that to be set. All the equipment we yeah. provide. And sometimes these are some other material, like if we've got dirt yeah, somewhere, dry dirt. That's Stephen's executive order. I don't have that attached to it. Yeah, that's one. Okay. No more discussion. I'll favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like time. Motion carries. Uh, Bo, you go ahead and tell them what we're going to do on this extending. That we're not going to open the bid tonight on the uh, community center cooling tower. Uh, HVAC project is actually what it is, uh, and uh, if you want to explain that. Yeah, um, I feel like we had uh, some type of confusion on the advertisement, um, so we are going to work to do that in the coming days as fast as possible. Um, that way we can advertise it for another seven days okay. and then take action after that. Well, that's, that sounds good. It'll be uh, most likely, our special call will be a week from next Thursday. If that's not past the court meeting, I bet it is. Isn't it? I think we'll need to make a motion to table it. No. On the bid opening. Yes. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll make a motion to table the uh, opening of the bids until uh, the next court meeting or a special call meeting. Uh, okay. Whatever works out with the paper. It'll probably be the 11th, Mike. Okay. Which is two days after the court meeting, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just get to get back quicker. One uh, second on that. Okay, please. Okay, okay. motion by Michael, second by Bob. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That way, hey, you won't miss each other as much if you come back in two days after the meeting for a special call. Jason didn't think that was funny. Uh, uh, Ann, do you have that paper on the animals bit, the uh, animal? I, I don't have it. No, the price, I mean. Brandon. No. You don't? But he said he gave it to me, but I could not find it. He says you had the price. Yeah. And they've never sent me anything. I don't think he had an invoice or anything. I think he just wrote down the price. Yes. I'm in favor of the table motion. Say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Yes, aye. It's she's got it. Oh, she's got it. Yeah. Uh, this will be pending a serial number for her to write the check. We didn't get a bid, but we got a quote, which was actually under the bid thing, for $36,010. And uh, what we will want is a motion for to get it if we get if, if they get all the information to and the right check back. Do you want to say what it is? Because yeah. It said. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a 2024 Chevrolet Colorado four-wheel four drive crew cab WT. For animal control, correct? Yes. How much was it, Josh? Thirty-six thousand and ten dollars. <laughs> They've really gone up. Just a few years we was getting pickups for under thirty thousand, not that long ago. And Authorize and write the check upon receipt of proper documentation. Got it. Yeah. Do I hear a motion second? This is the one we put the money in the co savings if you would like to make. And this is just for bids? No, that, that we want, we didn't get bids. We already advertised from the last court meeting. We advertised and we got no bids, but we got a quote from this one, from Bachman. Which is what we'd actually use for a takeoff bid anyway. We can put down 37 in case somebody bid one that was uh, had an option on something we wanted. We 
Hopefully, he's always going to kill him last night. Can we revisit this? Huh? Can we go back and ask for bids again? Well, this is under the bid price. Okay. And, and we asked, and uh, Moore didn't want to bid it uh, with the specs that uh, Charlie had given them. So nobody wanted to, and the ad did run. And I believe this is where uh, Adam, is this Adam, this is where you get your truck cars? Where was it? Bachman, Did you get yes. the Bachman? Yes. He got the Tahoe's there. Well, I'll make the motion. I can do that. But I hear a second. Well, I guess I'm going to truck that us like a second. I'd like to make a motion that we uh, we redid it. Okay. Very second to that. Go here a second. That motion dies. For like a second. So I'm going to guess that Charlie will need to come to the next court meeting and talk to y'all. I just, I just don't remember. Uh, it was on the resolution that we passed at the last meeting. Okay. If anybody wants to come back to it, we can. Uh, and you want to explain to us, we're going to do a CD purchase. And she's um, got prices on it. Our opioid fund, uh, we've accumulated quite a bit of money in there, but we won't be using it for a couple of years. And the CD rates are 5% uh, right now. I've checked around. And I did check uh, at our conference, uh, and we would be allowed to do that to purchase a short term CD and the interest would have to go back into that fund. So I'd like to be able to do that. And also, with the ARPA money, there are some funds that um, won't be used for the next 18 months. You know, they're committed uh, with the ARCH program. And I'd like to be able to do a CD with that also. How yeah. many months, Anne? Six months, yes. Do I hear a motion? make a motion for discussion. Uh, I have a question in regards to the arts program. I was under the impression there was no more, that all, all the money's been allocated. We got it. This is different for the motion. Uh, I'll, I'll second. We've got a second by Bob Bannon. Sorry, Michael, just need to do not, not all the money has been allocated yet, but the money that we have allocated for the arts program will go out another 18 months. So I'll have at least a hundred thousand there to be able to purchase a CD, and that it's, will go back into the program. The it's committed, but it's, all, it's still the money's still here. It's just committed. We do have a motion to second. Any more discussion? Being that on first, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like so. Okay. This is listed on your agenda, Belfield lease. That's not exactly, well, it's close. We just want to have, a, the, there's a, some of the money that's been coming out of it that we're not going to have to use. And then give you a proposal there how we would reapportion that money. And, and it really, actually, what it actually amounts to is an increase in the general fund, which is a good thing. Have y'all looked that over? This was this was the money that was uh, coming from the Belfield. We yeah. line this is under a different a different. It's coming from Republic, which has the yeah. bill, the landfill lease. Right. So landfill lease. And this, the reason this, this allow you to put it into a different account? Into uh, general and uh, is the one that will be the winner on it. The IDA 
has committed $80,000 a fiscal year to go towards our water debt service. So we don't need as much in the landfill fund, which that's where we pay the debt service from. Okay. So that, that would free up some money to go into the general fund. So they go into the general fund? Yes. Okay. You we have a motion on that? Make a motion. Motion by Michael McKinney. Second. Second by Bo Bennett. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Have a one road department personnel. Do you have that sheet? And this is to replace a gentleman that's leaving. <laughs> Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, Drake uh, Burden is leaving, and we have a young man, Jeremy Taylor. He was laid off at Dysel, and he used his uh, money there to go get his Class A CDL. And uh, I, I know his family, and uh, Nick knows him real well, and that's who he wants. So I put Jeremy Taylor. It's 17.40 an hour. Just roll call. All right. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bent? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Morky? Yes. Okay. Um, you know, we got the corner a new van. Uh, we got the corner a new van. And the old one? was out there and we didn't have an exact reuse for it. The city of Hartford and and in uh, uh, in conjunction with the city of Beaver Dam, they're wanting to do some transport of public to help people. And uh, what I propose is that we declare it surplus and then let the uh, under our interlocal agreement let the city of Hartford have it. It's the old van that the coroner's office used before we bought them new. Do you have the information on that, Miranda? Yeah, let's see if I can okay. How much is the van worth, Judge? Uh, Truthfully, <coughs> I wouldn't give $1,000 for it. As a matter of fact, I bought one the other day to good that for 900 Oh, that's the I mean, the information on the thing. No, I don't know that. What are they going to be transporting people? People. To? I'm sorry. To work. From Beaver Dam to Hartford and the stores and doctor's offices and things like that. And so. Work on that furnish no drivers? No, we will first know. We're giving it to City of Hartford. And then they'll help. Some of their funding for running it will come from Beaver Dam. And we'll enter the serial numbers when we get them in. I, I thought I had them in my packet, but I don't. So if that's okay with you, it's fun if you make a motion to do that. You need a motion? Yes, sir. So I'll move. Motion by Larry Moore for you. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Any discussion? Being none, on favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, I need to make two library board appointments, if you got them for me. Uh, library board. John Cashin, this is a reappointment. Uh, he's been there for some time, does a really good job, and I, I, I'm putting him back up. No McKinney? Yes. Yes. Ben? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Morphew? Yes. And the next one, John Johnson. I don't know him as well, but he's been on the board for a few terms, at least one more term for this one. And uh, uh, actually, I'm sorry, he was previously. I'm sorry, he's not on there now. He's to replace Janice Jones, who uh, he is, uh, is his, her term is up and she doesn't want back on. So, John Johnson. I'm going to go ahead and call that one. McKinney? 
Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Morthew? Yes. Well, I'm making board appointments. I'm going to go ahead and point some here. Uh, this afternoon, is it still afternoon? Yeah, by one minute. It'll be evening in a minute. This afternoon, I'm making the water board appointments that would have done, done normally in January. The magistrates in the two districts want me to reappoint the current members, and I'm about to do that. I am very disappointed from recent actions of the board. This was the uh, use of grant money to extend service. When public utilities were brought to our rural communities, it was such a blessing to have electricity, phone, and then water. If each individual road had been required to show a profit, for those services immediately, much of the county would be without these services. The mission of our water district was to establish, was to provide service to the rural areas of the county. Uh, fiscal court through different means has contributed much to the water lines now in existence. We currently are making payments on the new water plant. Its cost to fiscal court was over two and a half million dollars and we're still paying on it, and will be for a few more years. With that said, back up here. I'm, now I'm pointing up for the first district water board, uh, Ben Everly, and they roll call. That's the second, That's district. second district. That's no. not the first district. That's second. the second district. Second district. Now yours doesn't not be a roll call. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Morphew? No. Okay, then next I'm putting up in the 5th District, Mr. J. Raymond, and uh, it's a reappointment as well. No problem, Raymond. McKay? Yes. Bullock? I should vote no, but I'm not going to because he's done his job. Yes. I felt that way as we had voted. Yes. Johnson? Yes. Morky? Yes. Now we're ready for committee reports. Has any committees met other than the ones that we've talked about? I know the budget committee met this afternoon. Has any other? I have an update on uh, broadband. Oh, good, great. So, but we don't we haven't had a meeting. Uh, Kennedy's actively working 231 in Hartford and Beaver right now. Yeah. Okay. And I got a text today that uh, they're putting the lines up on uh, 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 Nathus Road as well today. I was, Ellen? Judge, I was at the uh, manager's meeting today. Ken Energy said all their lines should be in and people should have it by the end of 2024. That's wonderful. They're working beat up, center town. And, and Ellen, you also said that Warner Electric said there's. 500 ish? 500 ish, uh, like 569, 579, something like that, opposed that they happen to put so in. So I guess that's our portion of the yeah. Yeah, they several put that, thousand that they're. Yeah, they put that up today. Uh, I mean, they put poles on that road today, actually. So I actually said there was two. There's actually Spectrum and some other company has got Ohio County, but it wasn't rural, uh, Warren Rural Electric. I forgot the other name, but it's another. Was it North Central Telecom? Maybe. That's who's doing it for okay. Warner Electric. But anyway, uh, they said they had two different ones and they couldn't really, they wasn't really sure when it was going to be up and running. But that's a great report, Michael. Any other committees got a report? Um, I know big budget committee met this afternoon. Um, are y'all comfortable of sending the budget for the first reading? And uh, with the understanding that when it comes back, we're going to add those uh, community contributions and adjust for insurance. Should we have that before we send it, Judge? We should have that in the next couple of weeks, shouldn't we? We've got three or four more months before it has to begin. So you'd rather wait till the next May? I have. Okay, that's fine. We'll wait till the next May. That's actually when it was anyway. But they have not gotten a little thing there we want to be first. Well, just to point out, the department has is down to three employees, 
and they have requested if you have your budget you know ready to send it in because they'll have a backlog to help them and as far as the health insurance I mean there's nothing you're going to do to this budget unless you cut something somewhere it'll have to be addressed in the needs assessment surplus money so there, there's nothing to change unless you all you don't want to cut something somewhere and reallocate money. Okay. So that's not even nothing there. It's just that little thing we talk. So she would actually like to send it in. Have we got you know, have we got an idea where the community contributions will come from, Ann? It have to come from surplus. The the number we spoke of is that. That's what we did last year out of that too. I think. Yeah. So we're yeah, I think we're good. Them, so. Okay, we're going to need a motion. I'll go ahead and make a motion that we go ahead and. Motion for first reading. For the first reading. You have to give the ordinance number. Ordinance number 2024-5. And also. So motion by Micah, second by Bob. It's a roll call because it's a uh, ordinance. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Morky? No. Okay, we'll forward it on up there. Now we're ready for the magistrate's comments and requests. Let's start with District 1. No comments from the 1st District at this time. No requests. 2nd? No. 3rd? No. 5th? Yeah. Justin? No, thank you, Justin. Anybody get from the audience got anything for the good of the community? Okay, yes, ma'am. Hello, guys. My name is Annette Morgan. Yes, I, Annette. I know you. Yes, how are you? Good. I uh, I live in Hartford. I've been here for about five years now. I live on off of Walker onto uh, Oakwood right here by the new apartments across from Ellis. Guys, I really wanted to want you to help me with these dogs. We have people who let their dogs out without leashes. Um, I know, you know, you know how it is. I have had them to tell me that they don't have to be on leashes. No, they do. I know. And they said they talked to the police, and the police tells them that they don't have to be on leashes. I know that's hogwash. I know it. But if you guys could really help enforce these laws that you have i would greatly appreciate it because my dogs are getting attacked and uh, would you uh if you don't mind rip sir give him your address in that area so that he'll know and, and we'll make sure that's taken care of because okay. it's a big old county and and if we don't get the complaints we don't know where to go address it at does the city not address nothing like that, Jeff? No, it's our animal control. And I have, I have spoke to other, you know, at different times to the police about this. Like when they're out patrolling, and I see them, and I say, "Listen, these dogs are out and about." So, what, I know. What's your address? It's 82 Marble Court, Hartford. Yeah. Have you talked to the dog catcher? Uh, I can't never catch them. Is it right off of Clay Street? It's right off of Oakwood. Oakwood? Yeah. Okay. Right off Oakwood. That's right. You told me that. Tell you what, we'll, you we'll get them out there on that. Okay. Thank you. Has anyone else got anything? Thanks, City of Fordsville, for being here. And almost Fordsville. And school board represented uh, here. Appreciate that. Tourism, City of Hartford, uh, uh, our office, Sheriff's Department. We were really well. We appreciate everybody coming. Bring bring some friends the next time. Uh, if that's all, we're going to call this meeting adjourned.